so amazing. So I can't, I keep trying to put this into words and I'm having a really hard time finding the right words. The Redeen family had a life changing, heart shaping experience. And this is where I start to get emotional right away. Um, I just, I just really believed it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. The Great Falls residents hopped in their car and took a road trip to Los Angeles for the Special Olympics World Games. They joined 500,000 other spectators in a mix of culture and language. The LA Memorial Coliseum boasted 7,000 athletes from 177 countries. The ceremony itself, I've never experienced anything like that. It was um, electric. I ride the firework. That's Joan's 24-year-old son, Jared, who says he liked the fireworks. Special Olympics is close to their hearts. Jared lives with Down syndrome. What that means for him and for the rest of us, he will do pretty much everything you and I do. It's just going to take him a little bit longer to learn to do those things. Jared is an athlete too and has been competing for years. I do all Aunt Remy. His favorites right now are golf and swimming. He got to rub elbows with the Olympians. It was really inspiring for him. He was in awe of some of the athletes that we met. The impacts of the World Games extend beyond the week of action in L.A. Joan says the broadcasting and awareness of the events goes a long way in not only boosting morale, but promoting inclusion. Things like ESPN getting on board with broadcasting the Special Olympics as a sport is huge. It's huge for us and acceptance and inclusion in our community is always big. That's why I do things like the Buddy Walk, trying to raise awareness, trying to let folks know that my son is not that different from you or I. One of Jared's favorite parts of the experience was saying the athlete's creed alongside thousands of others. It's a message that will carry on back in Montana. And we win, but, but I do not be brave. Let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. In Great Falls, Shannon Newth, MTN News.